client may ask you, well, what are the positives? What are the negatives of bankruptcy? All right, and so some of the things you might want to share with them are that, you know what? You can stay in your home. You don't have to leave immediately. You can tell them, you know what? There's no tax liability associated with the sale. So if you have, let's say, a rental property and it's way underwater and you lose it, clients, as you know, will probably get what they call a 1099. They get the opportunity to pay debt on that difference. All right? What's that? Yeah, exactly. So, thank you, Jim. So, <laughs> so, yeah, and so a 1099 and, and the opportunity to pay a tax on that is a challenging thing. However, if you file bankruptcy before you file, sorry, if you file bankruptcy before the sale, there's no tax obligation on that debt. It makes sense. No so capital you, gains, none of that? None of that. Really? So if you have, well, capital gains is different. I'm talking about forgiveness of debt. Okay. Yeah, forgiveness of debt, which, which, which makes sense. But if you have no legal obligation to pay the secured debt because you filed bankruptcy, why would you have to pay taxes on it? All right? So no tax liability, no legal liability. Wells Fargo can't sue you for a deficiency, which I represent clients all the time. Why am I getting sued? My real estate agent told me not to worry about the $150,000 short sale difference. And well, Wells Fargo decided to sue you. And you have to work through those issues, all right? It's a major issue. Peace of mind as well. Do you tell a client, you know, if you file bankruptcy, that you can at least know that you no know, tax liability, no legal liability, and it's a controlled process, all right? Good things. But that's if the uh, bankruptcy go through, not if it's discharged, right? That's if you get a discharge. Yeah, if you get a discharge. But most, I would say almost without discharge a... Discharge meaning that it's been resolved. Correct. But if it's, if you file bankruptcy and then you are not qualified in bankruptcy, get discharged that way. In other words, your bankruptcy does not get accepted. Then even if you file <coughs> bankruptcy, you're still going to be liable, correct? Correct. Well... We, when we file bankruptcies, uh, step one is you, you qualify for a seven or you don't qualify for a seven. I'm not going to put someone to a chapter seven bankruptcy if they don't qualify because um, it's just it's not what we do. You may have to go to a 13 or they may have to go to an 11. You know, you have to kind of figure out what, what boat you're going to ride on. But um, provided they file, they're eligible, and they get that discharge really is that peace of mind that they know I'm going to be okay at the end of the day. Yeah, but if they just charge for the purpose of stopping the sale mm -hmm. with no intention to go through it, yeah. then that would not be... Doesn't work. That would be irrelevant. What you would Correct. Say. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, if you file just for purpose of stopping the sale, um, it helps. It helps stop the sale, but it, it's... I tell clients all the time, it is a Band-Aid fix. And, and whether that that it's going to help, it might. I've had clients where they have done that, and they're able to work things out. And then I've had clients where they haven't had a chance to do it, and they've you know they've had a lot of issues. So negatives of bankruptcy, of course, your credit's going to take a hit. We'll talk about what that means, of course, and just just kind of the stigma. Oh, you filed bankruptcy, but the the number of bankruptcy filings since 2008 has increased just tremendously. So. I don't think it has that type of stigma that it probably had maybe 10 years ago. So it's just, um, the reality is, you buy a home in 2007, it drops 30, 40%. You can't control that. It's not, it's not like you went out and you, you charged a bunch of stuff in your Visa card and you, just, you weren't responsible. But that's just the reality, especially of today's economy, is that it, it's just, I don't think it has that stigma. Yeah. Yes. If you have an e-lock, would that be wiped out as well? If you took an e-lock and spent by a Porsche. Yeah. So yeah, if you, if you, okay, so if you, good question. So you, you, you took $50,000 out of your HELOC and you bought a Porsche, which I wouldn't mind doing, but I have three kids, so I can't do that. Um, so, <laughs> so and the Porsche is paid off. The Porsche is paid off. Um, and if you if you had and you've had that Porsche for three years, all right, um, there is a good chance. Well, 
remember, in bankruptcy, it's a trade-off. Stuff you get to keep, stuff you don't get to keep. All right. I actually know a guy who did this exact thing. Um, a lone guy, actually. Um, he had a Porsche. That I don't know if he bought it through a HELOC, but he had a very nice Porsche. And I said, listen, if you file a bankruptcy, your $60,000 Porsche, which you bought a few years ago, you're going to lose because the current market value is about 30000 bucks. So what do you want to do? I want to keep it. Well, they're going to make you sell it. All right? Um, eventually, what he did is he sold his nice Porsche before the bankruptcy, and he took that money, and we converted it into something called a exempt asset, meaning something you can't touch in bankruptcy. So the bottom line is if you, provided we can protect your Porsche in bankruptcy, if we can allocate enough resources, we'll talk about it a little bit today, you can, you can keep it. Now, if you took out your HELOC, and, well, that probably answers the question. So the bottom line is you, you can take money out of your HELOC, buy stuff, but that other asset you have, the question you got to answer is can you still keep that? There's, a, there's also things called fraudulent conveyances or fraudulent transfers where you go out and say you buy a, a big screen TV and your Visa card and you file bankruptcy 10 days later. Well, most likely, Visa is going to say, I want that TV back. And they're going to call me. And um, we want the TV back. And that's, that's what's yeah, going to How about if you invested in real estate and lost all that money? There's nothing left. It's yeah. It's gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, all right, so th those are the positives, those are the negatives of bankruptcy.